so welcome back to my youtube channel and first of all i would like to thank you for all the positive feedbacks that you are giving me please continue to support this channel because i made a lot of videos lately although i'm a little bit busy that's why i haven't yet made the whole video but i had a lot of clips about the troubleshooting i made in this vessel for today's video we will be talking about the iccp and the shaft grounding what are the importance of these two devices but before that we will be doing a little experiment so that i can explain it to you properly because i cannot show you the whole system but i can show you with a little 9 volt battery and two piece of wire and a seawater so we need stranded wire, a 9 volts battery, a plastic container which we filled with seawater, so I'm exposing the wire around 6 inches in length. Then we will connect the wire to the 9 volts battery. As you can see, the seawater is a clear seawater and we are going to dip the two wires into this water. Please do not let them touch each other once you dip them into the water. So what do you think will happen next? So the whole vessel is made up of steel. A big floating steel which is exposed to environment as we all know if it is exposed to the environment it is prone to corrosion corrosion like this especially the one on the deck area but since these are still accessible crew can still do the maintenance by chipping and painting the area But how about the area of the vessel which is always soaked in seawater 24-7? So this is our onboard impressed current cathodic protection or the ICCP. This data is being taken every day and being filed and will be sent to the maker every end of the month. This machinery or device is very important in keeping the integrity of the hull of the vessel. In order to explain it further, I am going to illustrate the whole system. A difference in electrical potential between the hull and the propeller shaft will be generated due to the difference in materials and to the propeller being immersed in seawater. Reference cell will measure the electrical potential. And the readings will be sent to the control panel which is located in the engine room. Then the control panel will automatically lower or raise the output going to the anode. The anode is surrounded by a dielectric materials. So the hull will receive the optimum level of corrosion protection. 
The main purpose of anode is to generate protective current within seawater. Reference cell or electrode are normally do not need maintenance. However, please make sure that reference cell will not be painted when ship is in dry dock. Under normal circumstances, for one controller, two reference cells are installed. Ideally, these reference cells should be set apart from anodes minimum of 7.5 meter distance. So in short, your ICCP protects your ship's hull from any corrosion. For the rudder, it has rudder stock grounding system too. A difference in electrical potential between the hull and the propeller shaft will be generated due to the difference in materials and to the propeller being immersed in seawater. In some cases, the difference in electrical potential has caused spark erosion on the thrust and main bearings and journals of the crankshaft of the main engine. In order to reduce the electrical potential between the crankshaft and the hull and thus prevent spark erosion, there must be installed a highly efficient shaft earth device. The current flowing in the shaft is safely earthed using this shaft earth grounding. It should be able to keep the electrical potential difference below 50 millivolts DC. That's why it is important to check the brushes and the slip ring from time to time to avoid those kind of problems. And these are the main bearings and the crankshaft of the main engine. So if that explanation is still not clear to you, let's go back into our little experiment. Let us consider that the wire connected to your positive is your anode and the one that is connected to the negative is the hull of the ship. As you can see, the other wire is barely noticed and the other wire started to change its color. So I let the two wires to be soaked into this seawater for about 5 minutes. So now let's pull out the wire and see what happens to them. So the other wire is completely corroded and the other wire didn't even change its color. So the wire that was connected to the positive was the one completely corroded. And the other wire which we considered as the hull of the vessel which was connected to the negative didn't even change its color. I hope with this little experiment, I was able to explain it to you well the basic principle of the impressed current cathodic protection system. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this and please continue to support this channel.